Beaver's Day Out, Chapter 2, Traveling Down the River As Beaver was making his way down the river, he happened upon Mole, who was doing what Mole did best, dig holes. Hi, Mole. How's everything going? Mole peeped his head out of the new hole he was working on and gave a friendly wave. Hi, Beaver. I'm just clearing out some old debris. I'm having a birthday party in a few days. Do you want to come? Happy early birthday, Mole. I would love to come, but I'm very busy. I'm actually heading downstream right now to build a dam. I'll see if I can make it, though. And Beaver continued down the Sacramento River. Soon, he realized that he was quite hungry, so he slowed his pace and scoured the riverbank for his favorite meal. He saw a willow tree, but it was definitely too big to eat, so he kept swimming. He then saw some alder trees, but he didn't feel like eating alder today, so he kept swimming. Suddenly, he picked up a delicious smell, and Beaver followed his nose out of the river and into a nice shady grove of aspen trees, his favorite. He gnawed off the bark of one small aspen with his strong orange teeth. His teeth were so strong and so orange because of the iron in his enamel. He munched on the cambium, or soft inside layer of the aspen bark, and then finished his meal with some pondweed. Once he had finished, he headed back to the river bank, determined to find the perfect place for his new dam.